Today we're going to talk about how to pick a lot when building. Hi, this is Melody Wilson with the Real Life Team at Remax Elite, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to pick the, a good lot. Um, you're looking at building a home, and hopefully you're working with an agent, and they're giving you advice. I love giving uh, my clients advice on all aspects of the building process. Of course, helping them negotiate, but also being that voice of reason to help um, choose a really good lot. Um, sometimes when lots are cheap, it doesn't mean it's always the best deal to buy, and you wanna look at the long-term um, equity growth of that lot specifically. Sometimes builders uh, or sort of developers make that certain lot cheaper because there's they need to incentivize people to buy that lot. So you think, oh, I'm getting this home for a lot cheaper, maybe five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars cheaper because of the lot. Sometimes it's not worth it. And developers actually, just a tip for you, they actually charge more money for a corner lot because technically it is more land. Um, but here's the thing in resale, not necessarily does that translate. A lot of times the corner lots are harder to sell because it is a corner lot, it's busier, there's more shelving to do in the winter and um, more upkeep. So that's something to consider because you're gonna be paying extra for that lot, but yet when you resell it, it's gonna actually sell for less. Um, some of the things you wanna think about is obviously the location of the lot. Where is a lot located in proximity to the parks, proximity to the playgrounds, in proximity to the main entrance, the Anthony Henday, if it's close to the Henday main roads, that's going to implement, um, indicate if that has good resale, not necessarily through the lot value, but later when you sell the house. Um, other things to consider, is it a pie shaped lot? Builders are starting to move into, sorry, developers are starting to move into smaller and smaller building pockets. So you're starting to see a lot of zero lot lines, 22, 24, 26 pockets. The 30, 28, 30, and 32 are becoming less and less common. Uh, developers are starting to rule those out. So you wanna take a look at the size because depending on how big you want the home, how wide you want the garage, how big you want the bedrooms, and what kind of layout you're putting in, that's gonna dictate what kind of lot size you need and building pocket that you need. So take a look at those. Um, we always like to look, I also like to look at where the power, utility, transformers are, and um, the fire hydrants are because if there's a fire hydrant on your lot, obviously people aren't gonna be able to park right in front of your house. That's another thing that sometimes people don't think about. There's a tiny little box on that lot map um, that actually shows that. And it also shows you if there's a bus route um, in the back, sometimes a big unknown space, that's scary. When I see that, I look into that for my clients to make sure that we know what that is. And sometimes it's not disclosed and I don't really want a nasty surprise um, if you're living in a house and then all of a sudden there's something being built behind you that you didn't expect. Um, if you're backing on to duplexes or apartments, that lot's gonna be cheaper and should be cheaper than other homes or if you're in a little bit of a cul-de-sac. Hopefully those little tips helped you. Um, looking at picking a lot, of course, every situation is different, every neighborhood is different with different pricing. Um, right now is a really good time to do a lot hold uh, because you're looking into the quieter months and it's a great time to kind of investigate. When you put a lot hold down, you can kind of investigate what house would work and what price would work for you. If you have questions about that process, areas and all that kind of stuff, again, send me a private message, give me a call, share this with anyone you know, and please, again, give me some love and like and heart this post. Thank you so much and we'll talk to you guys soon.